Hi, my name is Carolyn, and for my creative problem-solving class, I designed and sewed a 1920s evening gown for a masquerade ball. So I would like to show you what I ended up with. Um, here we go. I started knowing that I was going to be wearing silver shoes. <laughs> they were the closest thing that I had to 1920s shoes. So I was kind of basing my entire design off of silver shoes, thinking that I was going to have a silver mask to match. <laughs> um, but I went to a local Savers and I bought some clothes from there. Um, I wanted to use secondhand fabrics instead of going out and purchasing new things. Um, I wanted to kind of upcycle to create my look. Um, so I went ahead and did that and I came across these different blue fabrics. Um, and. This is kind of um, the design that I went with. Um, it's very 20s, uh, very chic. The 20s was known as the chic era because the word chic became very, very <laughs> chic to say. So, um, but anyway, um, I started with looking, you know, looking on the internet and I found a few designs that I really liked and I kind of stumbled upon this one. So. Um, it's very streamlined, very straight line. Um, the androgynous look was very in. Um, it was right after females um, kind of started losing the corsets and they were raising the hemline um, up a bit. So um, it was kind of a footloose, fancy free sort of environment at that time. So they were kind of trying new things with their fashion choices. So uh, this. Um, the, uh, the hem down here is just about um, below the knee, so that's kind of that look. Um, I wanted to go with a draping back. I guess um, that was kind of new as well, uh, the plunging neckline, um, <laughs> because, again, it was very scandalous. Girls um, were kind of known to be um, covered up <laughs> until this point, so... Um, this is kind of what I came up with. Actually, um, for the back, I actually wanted it to be just the dark blue, but I kind of goofed up the, um, my measurements. <laughs> I, uh, for the rest of the dress, I hadn't really, um, I hadn't really done much, much measuring. I just kind of was like, all right, I'm going to slice this and dice this and, you know, just sew and make it work. But, um... But for the bag, I actually measured, and it didn't work. <laughs> I it was uh, <laughs> it was kind of gaping, and it wasn't good. So I had some extra fabric here um, that I ended up using to go ahead and um, kind of give myself a little more coverage in the back, um, just for my own comfort as well as the gaping situation. So. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what I came up with, um, my flapper's era evening gown. 